You're listening to Talking Raptors on Raptors Republic. Talking Raptors on Raptors Republic. <laughs> Talking Raptors on Raptors Republic. 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 Talking little Raptors on Raptors Republic. Welcome to episode 10 of season 6 of Talking Raptors. Barry Taylor here with Nick Reynolds. And how you doing? Buddy, I'm freezing. Right? Freezing. It is unavoidable. This is some of the nastiest weather we've had in a while. It gets in your bones, man. Woo! But this podcast is going to be hot. Yeah, woo-hoo, we're on fire. We're going to warm you up. As always on Raptors Republic, raptorsrepublic.com. Shout out to those guys. Shout Drake, it! here's your royalty money. Take your what, goddamn money, Drake. What's going on? You said something's happening with the man? Oh, yeah, buddy. We'll get to that. He's one of the things. He's in one of the... He's, oh, oh, right, right. He's okay. one of the, so he's, he's setting up a residency in Vegas? Did you hear about that? Yeah, it, I de- definitely did. And it was only like $10 million. Huh. There's no way that's real. I just didn't think he was at residency on Vegas. I think it's like a year. I didn't think he was at that point in his career yet. But I, I don't think it's like, I think that's re- not real. I think it's like residency, like he's doing like two shows he's a doing, year yeah. or something like that for $10 million. All right. That makes more sense. Otherwise, they got to fire that guy's agent. Thing one. Speaking of the cold weather, it is unbelievably freezing freezing cold so the that leads to the question obviously do you think this is going to uh have any impact on Kawhi leonard's decision i mean it's not going to help i, I definitely i'll tell you right now it impact it would impact my decision I, I don't care how fucking well we're playing but he's impacted my decision right now i don't I have no means to move out of this place <laughs> and i'm like i gotta figure out a way to leave i gotta get out of here i had an option or an out i would be taking it 100 percent. yeah it's bad. What do you leave my whole family? <laughs> like, it's like I gotta leave. It's free. It's too cold. The only thing I'd say we've got going for us is that it's probably. I'm sure it's like this in New York, Chicago, Milwaukee. Yeah, but he wants to go to L.A. Denver. So. <laughs> well, that's yeah. the problem. It's not like this in Los Angeles. No, not that's at all. For sure. No. Ugh. It would seriously have a like play a role in my decision. A hundred percent. Like, like the, the everything else on the team has to be so good. Yeah, exactly. That you leave because I'll go to like a crap. I'll go to a mediocre team to be warm. Like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, what are we talking about? I mean, the good news is on Wednesday, it's supposed to be above zero. There you go. So, Why? I don't know. Let's just, it's too bad we're on, on, the, on the road right now. You know? I know. It's not good. I can't be helping. I hope uh, New Balance sends him hella warm coats. That's the, way, that's the only thing we can hope. Yeah. I'm sure Drake has sent him the OVO Canada Goose <laughs> collaboration. You know? I, ho- I hope he's got all that. You think about it, man. We grew up in this. And I still hate it. Imagine... I legit don't remember it ever being this cold. And I don't remember being this cold. There were a couple of times when I was in grade nine. I remember waiting for the school bus. And it was just a record, something like two weeks in a row, where it was at least minus 30. That's just, insane. Just wanted to end my life. I was like, why Why are we here? Yeah, you know? so I felt uh, taking the streetcar today. It's the worst. Yeah. And also, we still have streetcars, which is insane. That's another reason. <laughs> Hot or cold. What the hell are we doing let's with this not, technology? Let's not show him those. Yeah, sure. don't show him the streetcars. He's like, oh, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> is this like a throwback or something? You guys celebrate? No, no. This is a everyday Kawhi. Goddamn. Yeah. Take the 501, buddy. It'll take you four hours to get across the city. <laughs> I'm sure the Raptors brass are aware of how horrible this weather is and are doing something to try and distract him. Most likely, because if weather's ever a thing, how many, how you're many, gone. How many space heaters do you think they just <laughs> put around Kawhi? They line space heaters right to his car. Just Buddy, don't worry about it. We promise. Flamethrowers <laughs> blowing towards him the whole practice. Oh, yeah. They start his car in the morning before he <laughs> before he gets downstairs. They gave him. Was it? Was I with you? Oh no, it was Monty when I was out west, and someone was telling me the number one thing you get for Christmas are those automatic car starters. So yeah, it's the you best know? gift you could give somebody. So that's probably what they gave him in December. He's like, what's this? We're like, no, don't worry. You'll need it. You'll need it. And you will thank us. Oh, yeah. Where do you think Kawhi lives in the city? I would guess. Like, I hope he's hella close to. I would bet that tower literally right beside the Air Canada. or Where whatever. a bunch of them live. Then. Yeah. Because one, I had a friend that lived there for a year. And I went to his place. And as we were going out up, the elevators open. And Ed Pickney. Ed Pinkney was there. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So I would assume, I, I would bet he's there. I saw Jose Calderon around there one time. Right. Yeah. 
Jose Batista was around there one time too. I saw him. Jose Batista. Imagine you're just living in a building with a bunch of Leafs and baseball players. Kawhi Leonard. I'd do anything for the man. Do you think maybe like all the Toronto athletes they get like three of the highest floors in that building? Well, that's the thing. My buddy lived above. And, uh, My buddy, buddy's making some money. He was. He's he's doing okay. Yeah. Well, Roberto Alomar lived in the hotel in the dome. That's the most balling shit ever. Yeah. That is that is pretty amazing. I think I would still do that even if I were a Raptor. I'd yeah. Be like I'd like to live in the Sky Dome, please. That would be so awesome, dude. Right. Like that's also we 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 should tell people we highly recommend that experience. Go get the hotel oh, and man, watch a ball yeah. game. We got to do that again this year. Yeah. We uh yeah because you can rent a hotel room at the Sky Dome, and during a game you're allowed as many people in the room as you want. So we would just fill a bathtub with beer, have like twenty people. It's like five hundred bucks. You split it. Hell of a time. Great time. You can get so drunk you could dive out that window <laughs> in, yeah. into center field and kill yourself if you <laughs> wanted to. You can make a lot of mistakes. Hell of sure. a way to go though. You want to make the news. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always think about the edge walk, too. People are like, oh, it's terrifying. I'm like, yeah, but imagine you did die. You're going out a legend. Like, yeah. everyone's going to know, remember that shit. You'll get a little plaque in the CN Tower. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. You'd be like, a minor, like if my nieces were like, how did your uncle die? And be like, oh, his heart or like car accident. And be like, no, no, no. He fell <laughs> off the edge of the CN Tower. Hey, fell off the CN Tower. I'm a fucking legend. You see Drake's album cover? It's like that, but he fell off. <laughs> He went Super Dave, straight up the yeah, side. Yeah. Rest in peace, Super Dave, by the oh, way. Good man. Lord. One of my all-time heroes. I mean, the only thing we can hope is this global warming is real, and it just kind of speeds up the process so we can get... After this weekend, if he leaves, I'm like, yeah, man, probably... Even, yeah, you could cite this weekend and be like, you're right, man. You're right. And be like, totally. you know why I'm leaving? We, we, we just won the championship. But do you remember January 21st? Do like, you remember? Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. That right. It was bad. And for that reason, I must leave. We retire his jersey instantly. Couldn't get mad at him. Thing two. This broke. This was a <laughs> this was a woge bomb. Breaking news. Right before we began to record this podcast, Carmelo Anthony has been traded from the Houston Rockets to the Chicago Bulls. First of all, didn't realize he was still with the Rockets. No, I, I thought they. I thought they released him. I thought he was just out there. I guess they just were like, listen, just don't show up. Yeah, we don't. Just don't show up, Carmelo. You keep the jersey, but don't uh, don't come back here, okay? <laughs> and then uh, the second, the follow-up bomb, the aftershock, I guess, was that the Bulls aren't even going to, he's not even going to play a game with them. They're going to release him, and then he's going to become a free agent. Yep. Interestingly, I actually had this thought a couple times this past week. I think he's coming to the Raptors. And I wanted to ask you about this, just like... Mel's used to the cold, baby. We need a... He's getting a cold shoulder from the entire world for the past <laughs> two years. <laughs> We need someone that can just jack threes. We need someone that can hit the threes, not just not to shoot <laughs> yeah. them. Fair. CJ can throw up some shots. Hey Amen. Talk more. We'll about we'll, we'll get to we'll get to that. But th- there was like four percent of me that was like maybe maybe Carmelo. Yeah. I don't think like I, I, hey man, why the hell not? Who cares? <laughs> That would be awesome, dude. It would just be cool. Like, I don't think he will, like, mess up team chemistry and shit. Just sit him down. Yeah. The other thing I was thinking is how messed up is it that literally nobody wants this man? I think LeBron wants him. I guess. But that's more, like, friendship things. Like, dude, he was an all-star last year. He he was goddamn amazing. He was just, and he's nothing. Nobody. He, Nobody he, wants the man. His legacy Nobody is wants destroyed. anything to do with him. They're just like, we, no, we don't want you. You're not We will good. not give you the league minimum. Get the fuck out of here, Carmelo. It's insane. It is crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I can't, can you think of another guy that that's ever Here's happened? something for you. Just imagine you, th- and, and could you ever imagine yourself saying this sentence, that you would rather have Pascal Siakam well, than Carmelo Anthony on your team? Because I 100% would rather Pascal Siakam. <laughs> Absolutely. I was like, even, how can you, how can this, what happened to the world that we can say this in? It's not even close. I'm even almost on the fence where I'd rather have CJ Miles than 100%. Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, I he's bringing know, pajamas at least. What, are, what do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's got I mean, something <laughs> to the table. I uh, don't it's just the whole thing is absolute bananas. And do you I, think he can still play? Oh, man. Yeah, I think. Right? Like but how come no one can how could he was, how could no one want him then? He wasn't horrible on the Rockets. He wasn't great. He wasn't old school, you know, great but he wasn't 
that fucking terrible. I don't know. I didn't. Like, he still had decent... They were The Rockets were really bad when he was on the team, though. Yeah, and they just kind of shaved... Blamed it all on him, but they didn't. They couldn't play defense, and obviously he never plays defense. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I it's very bizarre. I will say, yeah, from some guy going to like having this legacy as one of the all time great. I don't know scores. Yeah, and now it's just like <laughs> nobody wants. You're him. a cancer to the, nobody, the NBA. Everyone's like get the hell out of here Carmel. dude this guy's gonna play for ice cubes league that's insane yeah did you see that yeah and he's like he should he could play if he wants but he shouldn't and then yeah at least like, ice cubes uh, got his back <laughs> <laughs> buddy or maybe ice cube doesn't even really want him he's like you know what <laughs> <laughs> yeah right he's like no of course he can play <laughs> yeah yes. he's still good what does your gut tell you he's going to the lakers yeah yeah alonzo's done they're just gonna do something just to why not be fun to watch him with LeBron in Los Angeles. Yeah, or a disaster. And either way, yeah. it'll oh, be yeah. fun to watch. Either yeah. way. And the other big Woj bomb is that the Grizzlies have locked up Bruno to a 10-day contract. There you go. He's back in the league. You don't want Carmelo. Let's get Bruno. <laughs> Dude, That's, Bruno. What does that say about Carmelo, for Bruno's, God's sakes? Bruno's getting 10 days. Carmelo can't get a meeting. No one's Buddy, Bruno the got another chance in the NBA before Carmelo Anthony did. <laughs> That's exciting. I'm happy for Bruno. Good for Bruno. I mean, it's only a 10-day, and uh, I'm sure he'll be uh, back in the, in the G, G League, League for uh, after that 10 days. Or maybe he'll pan out to what we all imagine him to be, Brazilian Kevin Durant. I'm happy for the man. I always like the tiger tattoo. Yeah, I, I like Bruno, man. That was a great, great little cute part of our Raptors history. It was nice. The only thing better than Bruno minutes, I think we talked about this last week, are Chris Boucher minutes now. Yeah, he's he's the new Bruno. Yeah, and we like him better because he's Canadian. But as you said, that is messed up that Bruno has got locked up before Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, what happened to Hoodie Melo? Right, dude, he's still in the. G- he's not wearing a hoodie anymore, but he's still posting videos in the gym. Hey, good on him. I respect Dude, but that. He, it was the best I saw one, and he like missed like three shots in the video. <laughs> like, but you're not doing, you're not selling yourself good. Are you putting up <laughs> sick There's highlight no videos and your bricking shots? And he's alone too. No, why, oh, and why you do on the ball for him? Is just oh, dude, yeah, he's running, and getting it. He comes over, turns off his phone's on <laughs> a tripod. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that was the best he could do. That was the best video he had. A thing three. Okay, you've got some curses. Uh... The curses, man. Yeah, what's going on with this? Well, I, I don't know. so we uh, we're well aware of the GoDaddy curse. That's a real curse. It's a real curse. Yes, and you can listen to other podcasts if you want reasonable people. But we're here at the Talking Rappers. Believe that curse is real. Yep. And uh, we personally don't support GoDaddy in any of its uh, endeavors. No. Um, but this rumbling obviously uh, has gone to the players. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. What are they saying? We don't believe in curses around here in Danny Green War. Oh, yeah, the PJs. The PJs. That was the baddest shit ever. And, and then CJ started hitting some shots, baby. started hitting some shots. You're right. When Danny yep. Green wore the pajamas. That's huge. And then Danny Green went off, hit eight threes. Yeah. Whoa. Buddy. All right. I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, And also, yeah. our global ambassador. Oh, shit. What's this? Is... Uh, Ridden with curses, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> one of the most cursed men uh, that come around your team, right? That's the yeah. Also the um, uh, that's Drake's. Uh, he's got to live with that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That he's the guy when if he comes, your team's gonna lose. Well, Drake uh, wore all four NFL teams on oh. a sweater, all four of the logos. Well played. And said to everyone that believes in the Drake curse, good luck this weekend. <laughs> I'm like, this guy, that's why he's good, man. That guy's good, you know? Very well played. He could be a lawyer. That's good. Fantastic. Huh. Forgot that Danny Green wore those pajamas. That was the most ball and shit ever. Danny, Danny the curse, man. Danny Green seems like the just the best teammate. He just, everyone seems to love him. He's always, like, bigging up his teammates. He just, he's, a, he's, like, an awesome dude, man. He just yeah. seems like a wicked guy. I would like to hang out with him. Definitely. No, I don't. I'm, I don't know about like his snake thing. He's got snakes. Yeah, I'm not big on snakes either. Everyone I ever met that had like a reptile was kind of weird. Not not I bad. Get, I think There's you gotta a, be a little bit weird to have a reptile. Yeah. Right. 
I like, you don't look in the reptiles out. It looks like they don't have a soul. Yeah. What are you keeping that in your house for? And murder you? Yeah. You're just waiting it's for snakes natural. to get out. And, and you got to leave them in an aquarium, you know? Yeah. You know, it's, just, it's not like a cat or dog that's just roaming around. No, yeah. And they're behind glass. Like, mm hmm. Not comfortable. Fucking up your electricity bill. So much <laughs> heat lamps. It's like yeah. growing weed, man, having a <laughs> having yeah. a snake. Yeah, you may as well. Just grow a weed plant. Yeah. <laughs> That's Come on, pet. Danny's legal. <laughs> that would be a good pet. That's a better pet. Uh, I think we're gonna keep Danny. Danny Danny's used to look old. He knows what's up. Yeah, he doesn't he see and he loves Toronto, right? Mm -hmm. So we're good. He wants way. to stay. He yeah. said it. He's gone on record and said he wants to stay. Amazing. Love that man. It's got his podcast at Yahoo Studios or whatever. Yeah. I, I really like, though, that the players know about the GoDaddy curse. For sure. I really hope no one signs next year. Or if they do, they, I don't know, make some kind of... No, you got to do it like, it. we just got to go like different tiers of... You got to go, that's a Boucher. Chris Boucher, you get all over GoDaddy because you... You know what I mean? That's, Fuck around for a year a bit. It's all right. You can ruin that man's head. He just started playing basketball when he was like 19 or something crazy. Well, the t-shirt broke it for Norm. Danny Green both seems to have broken it for. I think for Danny Green's months. a guy. Do we we got oh, some magic about Danny Green. No, 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 not he's not getting GoDaddy. Yeah, okay, right. Or yeah. maybe he, that's what he's doing. He's like, listen, I'm, I'm. I'll take this curse one for the is team. not taking me, baby. Right. He's Teflon. Yeah, he can get through it, and it happens in threes. Norm, CJ, and our global ambassador. There it is. Curses are done. Curse, curses are broken. Well, there we go. We're we winning a championship. Enjoy the rest of the season. We'll we'll see you on the parade route in June. Kawhi Leonard's going to... Do you think the Raptors are going to be like, listen, Kawhi, we really want you to stay. Uh, how about you don't have to play in Toronto? You, you know what? Like, you <laughs> you got <laughs> to... Yeah, if it gets... You get like, to leave for two months. If it gets January 21st cold, you can just leave. You don't got to play home games. Don't so worry we'll, about we'll, it. You just meet us on the road if it's a warm uh, warm city. December through February, you don't got to be in Toronto. No. Ever. You don't got to play the games. This We'll see you in the road. We'll see you in Miami. Perfect. I'd be I'd be uh, totally okay with I'm that. I'm fine with that. Nothing wrong. We'll with be it. so good. At, we can tank for two months and it won't matter. Take two, thing four. So today's the last day for All Star voting. Well, while we're recording it, while so we're recording, when this comes out, it's over. It's over. But the Raptors have added Pascal Siakam. Yeah, they gave him a nice graphic, which is nice. Which is awesome. Those action figures look amazing. Yeah, we can't ever get them. I can't. That's they have to sell those. Maybe we got to go down to the, like the, the store inside. The one in the ACC or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I could see that. Maybe that's where they are. Man, if they ever gave those out, like as a... Hell no, the they're game, not giving that shit out. Wow. That could be, that'd be a big move. There's no way. Take your t-shirt with a beaver on it, you idiots. They could for sure make money off that, though. Dude, they don't even give out shirts for OVO anymore. What's going on? I just realized that. Yeah, I, I didn't I'm even in two think OVO games and I didn't get shit. I didn't even think of that. You're right. Was he even at one of the OVO? No, but that was a 17-year-old girl thing. So I'm like, hey, uh, you better not be courtside, yeah, buddy. Uh. <laughs> Rod Black's going to ask you some questions. <laughs> That's right. Because mm -hmm. I, I went to the... I was at the Golden State one. You didn't get nothing? No, nothing. Like I'm saying, what, huh. how, how, what, what's huh. going on here? Where, where's this money going? That's a really good question. It's all going in space years for Kawhi, buddy. It's all. <laughs> That's okay. I'm yeah, okay we're fine. Well, I don't need that t-shirt that won't fit me anyways. I re the artwork that's gone to support the this year's All Star campaign is so good. The comic book uh, guys, yeah, whatever. dude. We should also talk about the Art of the North exhibit. I know neither of us made it to either. We not none of us got it, but we did see a lot of the artwork. Looked pretty pretty sweet. Shout out to Casey Bannerman. Yeah, shit is fire. Yeah, really, really fucking. Shout great. out to Sotio. There's a bunch yeah. of all. I mean, those are the only guys we kind of know what they did, but. Yeah. It's Everything looked crazy. So good. Yeah. And really is like a culture here. Come on, Kawhi. Look at how cool this shit is. It's like he, the, the Raptors are its own culture, which is cool. It really. Do you think he like he and the other players know about this shit? I'm sure they they got to. Yeah. Someone mentions it. I'm sure. You know, dude, they're getting like it's not like they're getting tagged and shit constantly on the Internet. Right. Like, I'm sure. Yeah. You, you, you browse around when yeah. your name's getting tagged. CJ has to know the entire internet said he was cursed by GoDaddy. There's no way he doesn't know that. And his wife They're is tagging like, his wife, talking shit to his wife for God's yeah. sakes. Like they know. It's true. Speaking of social media, the Raptors account has been getting some uh, clapback. There, there it is. That's is that? that's clapback is something the Raptors account would say. Yeah, exactly. Clapback at you. 
Milwaukee. I don't know. You, I, I don't. I'm not on Instagram enough. They're barely on Twitter. Man, what the fuck happened to Twitter, by the way? I don't know. I told you Instagram was what's what's happened, but it is, yeah. But they're getting lit up on Instagram. Is that in the, in the yeah, comments? they're it, it, it's just it's uh it's it's like my buddies from Scarborough are writing the goddamn captions for the Raptors Instagram account. But not your funny friends. No, not the funny ones, uh it's weird. It's like it's, it, it, it's weird, like Drake lyrics and shit like that. Like, Good <laughs> lord, Drake doesn't even do this weird shit. <laughs> what didn't someone call them out for being? And it was saying it was yeah. They worthy? they wrote a sickle mode at, and the sickle mode, right? We is is a Travis Scott song featuring Drake. Okay, one of my favorite songs of the goddamn. Year. Oh, nice, amazing song. But it it was just Danny Green at the goddamn free throw line. What does the hell does that have to? Do? Why would you <laughs> caption that sickle mode? Yeah. Uh. And then someone was like, "Dude, this this caption is crazy. I'm I'm done. I'm like, it's it's too cringeworthy for me. I'm out." <laughs> and then the Raptors account responded and said, "Deuces," <laughs> which I didn't know. You you told me means peace. Yeah, deuces. <laughs> deuces got like I'm pretty sure famous because that was a Chris Brown and Tyga song, which was also a fire song. <laughs> okay, all right. Deuces, and Drake remixed that song. Oh, maybe they're just it's all Jack Drake like. Maybe Drake's Maybe fucking it doing is Drake. the Drake. Yeah. yeah, it is him. And he's just like, every reference is going to be about me. No, because he's not even like, I'm telling you, his Instagram is not even that corny. It's not. Okay, speaking of social media, this is for sure a coincidence, but it's just, it's happened to us a couple times. And I, I don't know how else to explain it. But a few times on Twitter, like mid-game, you or I have tweeted something about Matt Devlin. Not, and we never tag him you know what i mean we'll just be no like, weird like that's uh, that's f- f- weird to me like when you tag someone and directly talk shit yeah, to that's them pretty, that's yeah, that's kind of me i don't want to do that i'm not right we're not those kind of i don't want to at leo rounds and be like buddy you're orange i don't want to say any like you know no, what i mean just it's like you're talking about you know we'll talk about him behind his back in front of friends exactly I got no problem with that yeah but th- this happened a couple times with matt devlin and the most recent was because he always adds the no call you know, no call, like whatever, mm-hmm. fucking buddy, you know, the hoop, no call, no call. And I tweeted, Matty D's got to take it easy with the no calls and then just made a couple stupid jokes. And from that point on, he didn't say it again once the entire game. He didn't say it once. The man says it at least every third time up the floor. You think he's searching his name? Yeah. I'm not saying it's about us. I'm saying the man is searching his shit on Twitter. For sure he is. He's searching his name. Because there's been other times where we've said something about what he was talking about or whatever, and it stops immediately. Yeah. I'm not saying we're these uh, social media influencers. We definitely are not. That's I, I I'm just saying the man, I really, I don't know. I think he might search his name. Dude, if Kevin Durant's out here searching his goddamn name, Matt yeah. Devlin, for sure. That was the other thing. I was like, do we have a Matt Devlin burner account following us or something? Maybe. I don't know. But the... Again, this isn't like I'm not trying to say uh, it's us. I'm just saying in general, I think the man legit searches his name because it stopped immediately. It was yeah. fucked. And he didn't. This was I said it. I tweeted it something like the midway through the first quarter, early second quarter at, mo, at the latest. Yeah. He didn't say it ever, ever again. The entire game. He didn't say it once. He did not say it once. Fucked up, man. We're leading the we're leading the charge here. But it was fucked up. Yeah, it is weird. It was too much of a coincidence. Dude, how tall is Matt Devlin? I would say he's, I think he's like my height. I think he's like 5'10", 5'11". Dude, then, no, he looks, he was so much taller than Jack. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like, I, I never, noticed, I'm like, holy shit, how tall is Matt Devlin? I never would have thought that. Me neither. I guess I've never Leo met Ra- Matt Devlin in person, but we've no, met Jack, and I didn't, you know. Yeah, Jack's like normal size. Leo, I bet, has got to be kind of tall. Leo's tall. Like he's gotta be what six six or something? Yeah, six, six five or six. Yeah, maybe taller than he that. He played in the NBA. He's gotta be up there. Yeah, let me uh, let me see what happens uh, if Matt Maddie De- Maddie D's got his uh, height on the internet. Again, this is like the third time it's happened to us, at least with the with the Maddie D. Yeah, and just I don't know. It's fucked up. That's all I'm saying. I don't know, man. I'm I'm still like I still don't like how much more it seems like. That he likes uh, Leo Armstrong. Like when he does the games with Leo, he's he, Matt Devlin's in a better mood because he likes Leo Armstrong. When he does it with Jack, he's always like 
kind of condescending towards Jack. You know what I mean? He's like, he definitely like always is like, oh, you're just a crazy old man back in your day, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I feel like he's probably intimidated by Jack because he knows how much people love Jack Armstrong. Right. And when he's with Leo, he's like, now nah, we're both losers. But yeah, you know? yeah. People talk shit about both of us. <laughs> Look, like, let's on my phone right here. <laughs> just search your name, Leo. You're not doing any better than me. It does not tell me how tall Matt, uh, Matt Devlin is. Uh, I'm on his <laughs> I'm on his Wikipedia page oh. and the last line in his Wikipedia page uh which is uh I I do remember watching this. He once inexplicably exclaimed Punjabi during a b- broadcast when that. Paige Soyakovich hit a three-pointer. I remember that, yeah. yeah. Punjabi. <laughs> Just on so much cocaine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm very curious as to if it, if it's burner accounts or he just searched his name. But there's he's doing something because there's no way. Dude, he was. Did you know he was three years as the Memphis Grizzlies play by play? Oh yeah. And then three years for the Charlotte Bobcats. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I know he's up there with I think TNT. I want to say like he's like their fourth in line kind of thing. If they're doing four games, he's covering it. Yeah, and yeah, I guess so. Like he came in like it was a big. It was supposed to be like a big deal that the Raptors got him. I remember that, and I was just like, Ugh. maybe there's did like I guess he is a big deal. I mean, he he certainly and he's acts really like good. It. At, we've said this before. Commentating baseball, he's awesome. He's so awesome. During doing really baseball. good at baseball. MLB on TBS. Matty, yeah, Matty D. Love it. NFL on Fox. Oh yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. That's interesting. And MLB on Fox as well. Hmm. And then men's college basketball for the Big Ten Network. He can call a hell of a ball game. Baseball. Baseball. I don't know. The, the thing with the, with the Twitter blew my fucking mind. Think fast, think five. This one's been in the making for a while. This is, this is how... I don't... I mean, let, listen. This is a good podcast. All right? We go deep. Yeah. And we do the research that other podcasts don't. Don't. They do not And do listen, it. a lot of the times we don't... We don't we don't like to brag. You know no, what I mean? We, we just like to sit there. Toot our own horn. Whatever. We're just two guys, just two Raptors fans that like to talk about our team as as anyone else does. Yeah. You know? But what it comes down to is we'll go that extra mile. And a couple people have made suggestion, the suggestion to us on Twitter about the chicken shawarma at the Air Canada Center. Scotiabank Arena. Whichever you want to call it. Whatever. You... Whatever Kawhi likes. <laughs> it's the Kawhi Leonard's the Kawhi Leonard Arena Center. You went and got it. I went and got both the goddamn raps, man. <clears throat> now, okay, first of all, where they're located because it is it, they're up there. To, that's part of the challenge, right? Is finding these raps. Yeah, it's like in between like three ten and it's like three ten. The gate gate three ten. I'm, pre- I'm almost positive I saw it one of the last times yeah. I was there this season. For sh- it's very close to where to our, our seats, seats are, are yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then, all right. So how'd it go? What's um, I can't I I can't remember what they're called, but they have insane names. It's something oh. in, something crazy chicken. Oh, okay. Shawarma, hmm. something. You know what I mean? And then uh, the chickpea. Right, the chickpea one got several. Chickpea one, guys, it is amazing. It really? is fire. Yep, that's okay. probably the best thing I ate at uh, <laughs> Whoa. Scotia Bank Arena. Whoa, all at, right. at like a a sporting. Whoa. Yeah, man. Whoa. All it's like right. legit delicious. Wow. And so, so let's get it. It's a chickpea shawarma. Yep. Normal toppings. All the all the toppings you get in a normal shawarma. Huh. How's nice tahini it? sauce. It's good. Okay. It takes a little bit. Like hey. they're not they're not made. Like you don't go pay and they just slap it on you. You gotta wait. Yeah, okay. You stand there with your big but ass beer and <laughs> it's, wait for your chicken shawarma. It's worth the wait though, you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like. I went early and got it. And, uh, That's smart. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a. I don't. I don't like waiting in lines at halftime. I get. Oh, I freak worst. out. Yeah. yeah. Unless it's for beer, I'll do it. But other than that. Oh yeah, but I mean, like, no, you can use debit right at your seat now. I'm not That's getting up for beer anymore. It's a really good point. I get the one, and then I drink the tall cans for the rest of the game. Yeah. So the chickpea shawarma is good, and the chicken shawarma also good. It's it's good, but the chickpea one was better. Wow. Yeah. Does it come with anything? God no. And it was like fifteen dollars. <laughs> All right, filling. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Man, it, it was a good chicken. I'm not mad at that. Like you, could, I'm sure I could be at like a some sort of gastro pub. You know what I mean? And they would fancy it up, and I would pay yeah. the same price. 
and be like, yeah, that's a, this is what I expect. That's yeah. what it's worth. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to have to try it next game. Give it a go, man. Now, did you feel like you needed something after? Like, did you want a side of fries? Uh, no. No, because uh, I don't think I was high before I ate it. But maybe if I was high and I ate it, I'd be like, listen. Yeah. I could go for a pretzel or something. <laughs> Big fan of pretzels, by the way. Yeah, they're, great. they're the best. I'll try But this is better anyway. than the pretzel you're saying. Well, yeah. Holy shit. We'll try and find who originally suggested that to us because they hit us up a couple times on Twitter. And uh, we got we to gotta show them a lot of love and respect because they obviously know what they're talking about. Hell yeah. And they deserve it. So shout out to that person. We'll, we'll find we'll, it. We'll find you soon. Please, I guess the lesson also on that is continue to send us food ideas because we're always up for them. And We got to try the meat thing, the, the smoked meat sandwiches. Mm-hmm. I don't know where the hell that is. Maybe it was at the same thing. I feel like I saw that too. There's a couple like the we- you know there's the weird section when you go behind um either end of the the arena where the nets are. When you go through that on the 300 level, you end up going through like a bar. Yeah, that that crazy bar. There's some food stuff like tucked beside that almost, I feel. But yeah, that stuff's good. Yeah. Should really explore that, I think too, but I don't know. Got big beaver tails. They cut it like Kawhi's hand. <laughs> Whoa, that's a fucking great idea. Hey, man, that is a really Listen, good idea. I'm sh- well, that'll that'll end up in the in the arena next year. We're not going to get no goddamn credit for no, it. No, exactly. Matt Devlin's going to bring it. Kawhi Leonard's not going to be on the goddamn team, but it's just, <laughs> <laughs> they're doing it. You're listening to Talking Raptors on Raptors Republic. Talking Raptors on Raptors Republic. Now a lot of people talking about thing six. Twitter. Going to questions. We got some good questions. Oh, also, uh, a guy named Titus L. Karras, I think, has tweeted us a couple times and been like, the nickname for Chris Boucher should be Trey Boucher, Trey Boucher, I think. Because, Trey Boucher. Yeah, because of his stroke. And a Trey Boucher is a type of catapult, a powerful type of siege engine used, which uses a swinging arm to throw a projectile. That is friggin' amazing. Yeah. But the first time I read that, I was like, thought he meant like he had a stroke, like a heart condition. Oh, I, I, definitely, I, like, I definitely didn't read that. I was like, my, my <laughs> come on, man. We can't can't be poking at a man's heart condition, but yeah, no. that makes way more sense. So, um, Shout out to Jig at Jumperson22. That's who's hitting us up about the Chick P rap. Oh, nice. Oh, you found it right yeah, on. It is great, man. It is awesome. <laughs> Thank you for the recommendation. Beautiful. Uh, if you got any more, I trust you. I will listen to you, and I will try it. Send them away, yeah. The man's opinion to date is gold, so he can do no wrong. Yeah. Bellis, at Bellis575, asks us, can we trust Ibaka? Yeah, I think so. At this point, I kind of love the man. Yeah, I love I love Ibaka. I, I, uh, if we get him some rest before the playoffs, yes, we can trust him. I agree. If we run him into the ground, he will die. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be good. I'm a I'm big fan of Serge Ibaka this year. Jimmy Draper... At Jimmy Deluxe, he says, at the end of last season, the devil comes to you and says, I'll give you back Norm, but I'm taking CJ. Do you say yes? Yeah. I'd take Norm over CJ. Right now, yeah. Like good Norm over good CJ? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would do that. Because he can shoot threes. Sometimes. More or less. And he's got... He does play D, too. CJ doesn't. I just trust him more. And he's younger. I, I just trust Norm, Norm more than, than CJ. It's just crazy that we're saying that. Really, GoDaddy really does fuck shit up. Really does, yeah. Afroholic, at Afroholic16, have a CJ's PJs night where all fans wear PJs to the game. What's the worst that could happen? That's an amazing idea. Yeah, I think the whole roof of the stadium would blow off. That's fucking great. We'd all ascend into heaven. Everyone gets to wear pajamas to the game, though? That's yeah, such a good a idea. Yeah, CJ's PJs night. This, it is a great idea, but I mean, like, the... ACC would have to, sorry, MLSE would have to provide the PJs. Oh, no, I was thinking you just show up in your own pajamas. You know what I mean? No, he's, he, yeah, no, he's, he, this is, he just says wear PJs to the game. You're right. Yeah, so you just wear your own pajamas. That's a great idea. I would do that. Do that on a nice Sunday afternoon for oh, the kids. Oh, God, yeah. That's great. Afroholic, great idea. I'm really bothered that we are, didn't get shirts now. The more I think about it. <laughs> Concentrate. That's at concentrate with a three. All right. Instead of an E in the middle. 
Oh, creative. I think. Uh, I think we. I think. Uh, I think this dude asked us a question last week, and we had no idea what was going on. Mm-hmm. But because of the embarrassing loss to the lowly Celtics, should the Raptors just trade Kawhi to the Clippers? I so pissed. I finished reading this goddamn sentence. <sighs> trade Kawhi to the Clippers and start the rebuild. Uh, no. No, and also I think the Celtics Raptors series, we just got to secure home court and we'll be okay. We should have won that game. That's anyway, my theory. Though. I agree. Should have won that game. And Kyrie just played really well. What are you going to do? I'm not yeah. afraid of the Celtics. I'm not afraid of the Celtics either. No. Did you see like there did you see uh, Marcus Smart get fined? No, for what? I don't know. He tried to kill somebody on the Hawks. <laughs> When I like, dude. I actually like Marcus Smart. I'm a, I'm a fan of that man's game. He's. I would like to. I would like to have Marcus Smart on our team. I'll say that. Yeah, we we don't have that gritty guy that plays amazing defense, and he just can be an asshole sometimes and fuck shit up. You know. Well, we have Surge, and Surge Surge has to fight someone this year. Surge didn't fight nobody this That'd year. That'd be good. I could see that. But he always he, he always tries to fight people. At least once a year, he's trying to knock someone out. Yeah. I mean, he's just he's just so damn handsome, you know? Yeah, I don't want him to get hit in the face. No. Steven Sharma, at Steven V. Sharma, asks, which Raptors player's merchandise would you be most willing to rock? Norm MacDonald has the track suits now. I like uh, that. Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald. <laughs> he does. Norm MacDonald's a... Uh, Norm MacDonald. <laughs> he's got a book, a TV show, and he's selling track suits. He's signed a 10-day with the Raptors. Um... Norman Powell has the tracksuits. I'm down with that. What, what what's his what what's his slogan though? Understand the grind or something? something like uh, don't that, underestimate yeah. the grind. Yeah, I just like the fact that they were tracksuits. They all got tracksuits, Barry. Okay. Uh, Fred Van Vliet, bet on yourself. He's got tracksuits. Mm-hmm. Like I definitely will wear Kawhi's shit with New Balance. Yeah, I would wear that. Definitely. I, his logo is cool. Yeah, it's a cool like little logo. You put it on, you know, a shirt in the corner. Absolutely, I'll support him. No problem. Yeah, as long as he stays. I don't. I don't know if I would. Uh, I don't. Could, I don't think I could see myself wearing a shirt that says "Bet on yourself" because I'm not successful enough. <laughs> People look at me you like, know. "Hey, you think that's a good idea, bro?" I'm a terrible gambler. Obviously, and you win for the so. 501 street car, negative 30. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bet on yourself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's tough. Why don't you bet on a goddamn Presto card? How about that? <laughs> Uh, there is a chance you can lose if you bet on yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not a guaranteed bet. This is not a good bet at all. Yeah, just remember, you could lose. <laughs> okay. Um, Mike at Michael G. Coffee. <laughs> he says, ever seen a whole chicken stewed to perfection inside a watermelon? Google it. You're welcome. Go wraps. A whole chicken stewed in a watermelon? I think we have to look this up, Barry. Yeah. Absolutely. So, chicken. We're looking it up, Mike. Oh, here it is. Cook a chicken in a watermelon. Oh, Mikey, you weren't lying. So she's cutting a bit of the watermelon off the bottom. Did you find this? No. Now they're hollowing out part of the watermelon. Seasoning the chicken. By the way, the woman doing this is also very attractive, so it just makes the video that much more enjoyable. She's putting soy sauce in the chicken and lemons and lemons the whole lemon two whole lemons five spice powder she's shoving it in a watermelon and whoa she kept a little of the watermelon <laughs> holy shit she's sealing it with toothpicks baking it for two hours in an oven in a watermelon another three hours worth of cooking takes it to the oven after five hours looks looks like a date yeah. Like a prune. I bet you it tastes good. It doesn't look good, guys. No. Hey, Mike, uh, okay. it looks great. Uh, the problem is it takes uh, five days to do whatever. Five hours of cooking? <clears throat> yeah. Are you going to make a broth? Listen. Listen, I'll tell you what. You can you can do the same process, but instead of the chicken, you fill it with jello, and you put some vodka in that jello. <laughs> and in two hours, you're hammered, baby. <laughs> Okay. Good. <laughs> Josh Treats at Treatsy asks us, what would your NBA All Fight Club team be? AKA, if you, uh, yeah, I think we've done this a Didn't lot of times. Did we do a podcast on this like if, a couple years ago? Yeah, we definitely did. Yeah. I can't remember if it was All Raptors or if it was like Full League. What, what, we might, nah, we're not answering that right now. I'll tell you what, I'm going to pick Carmelo Anthony because he's got shit to prove. And he'll, 
He'll, he'll fight you, man. I, first pick is always going to be James Johnson. Yeah, me, no, I think. Marshall, my arts bra- background. Yeah. I'm picking uh, just a lot of guys with neck tattoos. Abnormalcy Bias at Abnormalcy Bias asks, there's got to be some kind of ritual to break the GoDaddy curse. Maybe there's such a thing, the Flex Seal Bump. Has it been tried? Get CJ next to this guy and get him out of his slump. That's the Flex Seal guy. Oh, yeah. That Flex Seal stuff looks awesome. Yeah, I want it. Yeah. I have nothing to seal or flex. I just want to go rip holes in pools and start <laughs> flex sealing them, you know? I start shooting holes in the side of boats and <laughs> spraying it up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good uh, Saturday. No, no, no. We, uh, abnormalcy bias. We, uh, we figured out the you just got to wear the product. Yes. Another person has to wear the product yep. on your team. So Danny Green wearing this CJ's PJs broke the curse. And uh, actually, it wasn't that hard. Turns out you just support your goddamn teammates, and uh, it'll be fine. I bet you no one bumped uh, Norm's song. Oh, yeah, that's true. I wonder about that. They well, probably all just made fun of him. I feel like Norm took care of it himself with a T-shirt. Like, he took matter in his own, hand, his own hands. He's just like, fuck this. No, but he, he waited until the curtain. Like, he wasn't even on, like, GoDaddy's commercials anymore. Like, I don't even... Th- his curse never got broken. It just... The time he was cursed was up. Right. Okay. I think, it just ran. It ran its course. Yeah. That curse. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I am right now just checking Spotify to see Norman Powell. No problem. Is it on there? Well, you better believe it, Barry. Oh, come on. But it's only got 12,000 plays. Ugh. So Ooh. I think that's how you break the curse. You really have to actually support these products. Wow. 12,000 plays is not a lot of uh, plays here. God, wow. I don't want to play it and curse the whole God Yeah, no, it's not. Let's just let French it go. Franchise again. Uh, that's it. I think that's uh, that's it. Hank Moody at Rody 213 He basically uh, just sent us a screenshot of uh, the weather. Oh. And he says, if Kawhi survives this shit, you think he'll stay? That's a great question. Uh, you know, no, no. Just for the... Okay, so real quick, let's just... I'm going to flip through my phone here to see where else. So it's minus 12 currently as we're recording this in Toronto. Minus 11 in New York. But Six, what is it with the wind chill, Barry? So, yeah. It's 16 in Los Angeles. So it's not balmy. You know what I mean? I mean, it's better than... 16 degrees? Yeah. Miami, it's 19. Winnipeg, it's minus 11. That's all I've got on my phone. How is it warmer in Winnipeg than it is in Toronto? That that is weird. You're right. But oh God. Anyway. Well, it's, it's like God doesn't even want us to have Kawhi Leonard. God doesn't want us to have any NBA All Star. That All Star Weekend weather is still one of the most fucked up things. This is, you know what? This is, you know, what? Demar Derozan. <laughs> you want to come back? Can we get him back? This guy's outside in a T-shirt, no problem. Let's <laughs> be helpful, this guys. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Can we trade back? Get the hell out of here. All right. Okay. That's going to wrap it up. Thanks to everyone who hit us up on Twitter. It's going to be a good week, I guess. Yeah, we got a couple games this week. It's going to warm up by Wednesday. Life is good, you know? Mm-hmm. Things are getting better, weather-wise. And, I mean, how can you be happier uh, being with this team? I can't. Means, life can't. is good. Everybody send Kawhi Leonard flea socks, and we'll be all right. Fuck yeah. Follow us on Twitter, at Talking Raptors. Let's go, Raptors. Let's go, Raptors.